Today I'm going to share with you this book, Bartholomew and the Ublick by Dr. Seuss. This book was first published in 1949. They still talk about it in the kingdom of Did as the year the king got angry with the sky. And they still talk about the page boy, Bartholomew Cubbins. If it hadn't been for Bartholomew Cubbins, that king and that sky would have wrecked that little kingdom. Bartholomew had seen the king get angry many, many times before, but that year, when his majesty started growling at the sky, Bartholomew Cubbins just didn't know what to make of it. Yet all that year, the old king did it. All year long, he stared up into the sky of his kingdom, muttering and sputtering through his royal whiskers. Ha! <laughs> the things that come down from my sky! All spring, when the rain came down, he growled at that. All summer, when the sunshine came down, he growled at that. All autumn, when the fog came down, he growled at that. And that winter, when the snow came down, he started shouting. This snow, this fog, this sunshine, this rain, bah! These four things that come down from my sky. But King Derwin, you've always had these four things come down. That's just the trouble. Every year, it's the same four things. I'm mighty tired of these old things. I want something new to come down. Something new come down? That's impossible, Your Majesty. You just can't have it. Boy, don't tell me what I can and cannot have. Remember, Bartholomew, I am the king. I know, sire. You rule all the land and you rule all the people, but even kings can't rule the sky. But how to get something new to come down? That was rather hard to think up, and for many days the old king stomped around trying to figure out some way to do it. Why, of course, they can do it for me. Bartholomew Covens, blow my secret whistle. Quick, call my royal magicians. Your magicians, your majesty? Oh no, your majesty, don't call them. You hold your tongue, Bartholomew Covens. You do as I command, blow my secret whistle. Yes, sire. But, Your Majesty, I still think you may be very sorry. Up and right into the room the magicians came chanting. Shuffle, duffle, muzzle, muff. Fista, wista, mister cuff. We are men of groans and howls. Mystic men who eat boiled owls. Tell us what you wish, O King. Our magic can do anything. I wish to have you make something fall from my skies that no other kingdom has had before. What can you do? What will you make? Bartholomew awoke. Was he seeing things? No, there was something strange up there in the sky. At first it seemed like a little greenish cloud, just a wisp of greenish steam. But now it was coming lower, closer, down toward the fields and farms and houses of the sleeping little kingdom. It was swirling around the topmost turrets of the palace. Tiny little greenish specks were shimmering in the air right over his head. Queer little green blobs, just about the size of grape seeds. Wake up, your majesty, he shouted. Your ooblick, it's falling. By my royal whiskers, it is. Oh, that beautiful ooblick, and it's mine, all mine. I don't like the looks of it, those blobs, sire. They're coming down now as big as greenish peanuts. The bigger the better. Oh, what a day. I'm going to make it a holiday. I want every man, woman, and child in my kingdom to go out and dance in my glorious oobleg. Out in that stuff? Do you really think it's safe, sire? Stop asking foolish questions. Boy, you run to my royal bell tower. Wake the royal bell ringer. Tell him to ring the great holiday bell. Ring your bell. His Majesty the King proclaims today a holiday. The old man crawled out of his cot. He grabbed the bell rope. What's the holiday for, Bartholomew? You'll find out soon enough. The bell ringer yanked the rope. Nothing happened. He yanked it harder. Still nothing happened. Hey, what's wrong with my bell? I'd better take a look outside. He poked his head out through the little trap door. Merciful gracious, what is that? 
all over my belt like greenish molasses. Not only your bell. Look at that poor robin down there in that tree. She's stuck to her nest. She can't move a wing. That oobleck's gooey. It's gummy. It's like glue. Ooh. The bell ringer wrung his hands. If that green stuff sticks up robins, it'll stick up people too. Someone's got to warn the people. Got to wake them up and warn them to stay inside their houses. It was in the throne room that Bartholomew found him. There he sat, old King Derwin, proud and mighty ruler of the kingdom of Did, trembling, shaking, helpless as a baby. His royal crown was stuck to his royal head. The seat of his royal pants were stuck to his royal throne. Ublick was dripping from his royal eyebrows. It was oozing into his royal ears. Fetch me my magicians, Bartholomew. Make them say some magic words. Make them stop the oobleck from falling. Bartholomew Cubbins could hold his tongue no longer. And it's going to keep on falling until your whole great marble palace tumbles down. So don't waste your time saying foolish magic words. You ought to be saying some plain simple words. Simple words? What do you mean, boy? I mean, this is all your fault. Now the least you can do is say the simple words, I'm sorry. What? Me? Me say I'm sorry? Kings never say I'm sorry, and I am the mightiest king in all the world. Bartholomew looked at the king square in the eye. You might be a mighty king, but you're sitting in Ublick up to your chin, and so is everyone else in your land. And if you won't even say you're sorry, you're no sort of a king at all. But then Bartholomew heard a great, deep sob. You're right. It is my fault. It is all my fault. And I am sorry. Oh, Bartholomew, I'm awfully, awfully sorry. And the moment the king spoke those words, something happened. Maybe there was something magic in those simple words, I'm sorry. Maybe there was something magic in those simple words, it's all my fault. Maybe there was, and maybe there wasn't. But they say that as soon as the old king spoke them, the sun began to shine and fight its way through the storm. They say that the falling oobleck blobs grew smaller and smaller and smaller. They say that all the oobleck that was stuck on all the people and on all the animals of the kingdom of Did just simply, quietly melted away. The king now knew that those four old-fashioned things, the rain, the sunshine, the fog, and the snow were good enough for any king in all the world, especially for him, Old King Derwin of Dune.